Hundreds were killed and injured and more are missing, authorities said, after a major earthquake struck southwestern Haiti on Saturday, reducing churches, hotels, and homes to rubble. The 7.2 magnitude quake, which was followed by a series of aftershocks, struck five miles from the town of Petit Trou de Nip, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. That made the earthquake potentially bigger and shallower than the magnitude 7 earthquake 11 years ago that killed tens of thousands in the poorest nation in the Americas. However, this one, which occurred around 8.30 a.m. local time, hit farther away from the capital. In Port-au-Prince, it was strongly felt but did not appear to have caused major damage, according to Reuters witnesses, meaning that there will likely be fewer fatalities than the devastating 2010 disaster. Prime Minister Ariel Henry declared a month-long state of emergency. It's the latest tragedy to strike the impoverished Caribbean nation and comes just over a month after the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse, who had been ruling by decree which deepened the country's political turmoil. Meanwhile, swaths of Haiti are facing growing hunger and healthcare services are overwhelmed by COVID-19. Access by road to the southern region where the quake struck has been restricted by gang control of key areas, raising questions over how aid will be delivered. All right, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahawa, Bahashem, Yahawa Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Legakim that's pushing this word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and our brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in this truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know, and I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom. You know, uh, I'm, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know, that means Lord willing. You know, so Lord willing, this lesson is uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, you know, Bahashem, Rechakodash, it's going to be a, another current event update. You know, non-stop judgment and non-stop action, man. Yahweh Bashim Shai is judging this earth daily, man. All right. The Heavenly Father name is Yahweh, which means he to be or he is this. Like that's who the world ignorantly called God. And his only only begotten son name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai means he savior, he delivered. Because that's who's going to come back and deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Also, the Israelites, foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers. All right, we are the Israelites, and the Lord, he's, the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is going to send his only begotten son back, Yahweh, shot to deliver the elect, and he's going to destroy the armies of the nations, man. And this land of America is going to be destroyed by fire, man. And also that land of Israel, because that's our land that was promised to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right, and before our Lord returns, all hell is going to break loose, all right? Well, it's already breaking loose, man. All right. You had an earthquake over there in Haiti. The Lord prophet, the Lord has told the disciples, I'm going to get that. The Lord told his disciples earthquake was going to happen in diverse places, famines. All right. And that's what's going on over there in Haiti. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter three, verse five. All right. It says the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He fell if not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. So every morning the Lord bring his judgment to light. All right. And what's that happen yesterday morning? All right. So you how about Shema Shai? All right, is 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 um a power that is to be feared. Hebrews 10 and 31. Hebrews 10 and verse 30. For we know that for we know him that hath said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, saith the Lord, meaning pay back. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. He has a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Our, our power is Yahweh Bashim Shai. Matthew chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? So the, the disciples asked the Lord, Before you make your second return, What's going to be the signs of your coming? What's going to happen before you make your return? All right. In the end of the world, that word world in the Greek is eon, meaning a certain uh, uh, length of rulership. 
all right all right the end of esau edom age all right the, the end of his rulership man and these are the signs that the lord said verse four and your house shall answer and said unto them take heed that no man deceive you for many shall come in my name saying it i am the anointed and shall deceive many you see a lot of false prophets man all right a lot of false prophets all right in um in israel that know they're israelites man then you got a christian false prophets you got all type of false prophets all, all different philosophies but the lord said take heed that no man deceive you all right but the elect is not going to be deceived all right, the elect is going to come to the truth and they're going to serve you. How about Shemal Shai? In truth and sincerity, they're going to be delivered. All right, verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So you're going to hear wars and rumors of wars. You see that all, all the time. Russia, China doing drills against America. All right, all these countries is linking up to go to World War III because the Lord is mustering the host of the battle. The Lord is gathering these nations in the valley of Jehoshaphat. To ultimately shoot missiles against America. All right. And also, they're going to shoot. Well, it's, it's going to be a world war. So, it's going to be missile shots from different parts of the earth. The earth is going to buy forever, forever. All right. The whole earth is not going to be destroyed. But different parts of the earth is going to be destroyed by fire. All right. In the middle of World War III, the, the armies of the nations, they're going to stop fighting against each other. And they're going to try to fight against the Lord. And they're going to be destroyed. That's in Second Legends 13 chapter, man. All right. Verse uh, 7. Matthew 24 7 Alright it says For nation shall rise against nation And kingdom against kingdom And there shall be famines and pestilence And earthquakes in diverse places Diverse places All these are the beginning of sorrows So all these are the beginning of sorrows man Alright world war man And it's in this hurricane I mean this uh, earthquake It killed hundreds I, I see reports that it was uh, like a thousand Alright this is another article that says at least 10 killed in Pakistan Garnade attack. All right. All right. The Lord is judging this earth daily, man. All right. D dozens killed in Lebanon fuel tank explosion. All right. And this is from Reuters. All right. This is from Reuters. Let's see how much. It's like it. The death toll from a devastating earthquake in Haiti rose to more than 700 on Sunday as rescue workers scrambled to find survivors under the rubble. 700. Lord, not playing. All right. You got, it says, Media Shower lights up Spain's Grand Canaria, Canaria Island. The Lord says there's going to be signs in the skies, man. Mexico hastened migrant explosion with flight south. All right. So it's all type of current events that are going on. All right. Biden sent troops to evacuate U.S. personal uh, personnel from Afghanistan. The Lord said, I'm going to remove far from thee the northern army, meaning the American army, and put them in the land barren and desolate. All right. Over there uh, between the Euphrates River and the Red Sea. All right. In the Middle East. All right. All right. Torrential rain slammed Japan, risk of. Let's get this one. Floods in Japan. Non-stop action. Non-stop judgment. Torrential rain slammed Japan. Risk alerts broadened. Let's get that. The Lord is visiting the earth which he made. This is the book of Isaiah. These people better get ready for more judgment, man. Isaiah chapter 29 in verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, the storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. That's how the Lord is visiting the earth. Isaiah 28 and verse uh, 2. The Lord hath a mighty and a strong one, which as a tempest of hell and a destroying storm as a flood of many waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with the hands of the Lord. I right, is using these angels just to, to bring these floods, right? Bring the fire, bring the tempest, the destroying storm. Man, you got hurricane season coming up. All right. You got mandatory jabs coming up, which the Lord said, don't don't even trust the devil, man. Don't even trust Esau them because they trying to kill. All right. Their their uh, agenda, the new so-called new world order is to depopulate. All right. All right. They're against life. They're anti-life. They're anti-Hamashiach. 
All right. So they're going to be destroyed, man. So much things is going on. That's what the Lord said. Watch as well as pray. Let's get that. Let's be watched. Watch it, man. This is the book of Mark chapter 33. Mark 13 and 33. So like a take, take ye heed, watch and pray for you know not when the time is. Mark 14 and 38. Pray ye, so watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. And the, the spirit is truly, the, the spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. So you got to always, you know, sow to the spirit. Luke 21 and 36. Watch ye therefore pray all in and pray always that ye be not account that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So this was a watch and pray, man, and warn our people, man, about this coming destruction, man. Ezekiel 3 and 17. It's a short lesson. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So the Lord said, give them warning from him. All right. All right. This is by Isaiah chapter 30, 34 and 16. Because the Lord doing this, the Lord is making it. The Lord said, none of these shall fail, meaning these prophecies. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read the 1611 King James Version, which, in Q, which includes the, the Apocrypha. All right, which the Bible description group took it out. All right, because it was a, it showed it, it exposed the Greek Empire. It sh it showed that our Lord how it, it had it mentioned our Lord how it shine it. It showed how the northern the ten tribes of northern kingdom, you so called Hispanics, you so called Native Americans came over to America. Asterisk meaning the America, man. All right, so many uh, it it puts the the puzzle together, man. So you're supposed to seek ye out of the book of the Lord, of the Lord and read. It says, no one of these shall fail. Talking about the prophecies. No, none of the prophecies is going to fail. None shall want her mate. No book can mate with these scriptures. Mate with the scriptures. For my mouth it have commanded, and in his spirit it have gathered them, man. All right, the Lord is gathering us through these words, man. All right, and none of these prophecies is going to fail. Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Who made, who created evil in the city? Isaiah 45, verse 6. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord, Yahweh, there, and there is none else. So the Heavenly Father, he's proclaiming, he's, he's the Lord, and there is none else, man. Which is true. Verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. First Samuel chapter 2. First Samuel, First Samuel chapter 2 verse 6. The Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and buildeth and bringeth up. So the Lord killeth, man. What are they talking about? Deuteronomy 32. 39 quick precepts Deuteronomy 32 and 39 says see now that I even I am he and there is no God with me I kill and I make alive I wound and I heal neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand so how about you my shot is going to continue judging this is only the beginning of sorrows man so we tell our people to repent repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand so with that Lord when this lesson was uh, edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, you know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakodash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a peace, greetings, and salutations to all the like Akim that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep enduring. Shalom.